Hundreds of garment workers took to the streets of Haiti's capital on February 23rd to demand a living wage. The protest was the latest in a series of mass mobilizations to demand raise in the minimum wage to 1500 gods a day. As workers continued their peaceful demonstration, Haitian police forces deployed tear gas to disperse the crowds. Later, armed men in police uniforms opened fire at the protesters from inside a police vehicle. Several people were injured in the attack, including four journalists. Among them was Roi de Info's photojournalist, Marc Saint-Lazare, who died from his injuries on the spot. Workers in Haiti's garment and textile export sector have been mobilizing for a wage increase and labor benefits including food and transport subsidies. When the protests first began, the daily minimum wage stood at 500 gods, approximately 4.8 US dollars. Union stated that the government had not raised wages since 2019, even as inflation reached double digits, hitting 24.6 percent by November 2021. Haiti's Labour Code states that wages must be adjusted if the inflation rate exceeds 10%. Protests initially broke out at the Caracol Industrial Park in the north at the end of January and were met with heavy police repression. The complex itself was built using US funds, earmarked for recovery efforts in the aftermath of the devastating 2010 earthquake. The community of Caracol had been untouched by the earthquake. The Caracol Industrial Park is among several facilities in Haiti where workers in sweatshops are sewing clothes for major US brands, including Gap, Target, and Walmart. On February 9th, hundreds of workers gathered in protest outside the Sonapi Industrial Park in Port au Prince. Police responded with tear gas and rubber bullets, leaving several people injured. Despite escalating violence, workers continued to take to the streets to raise their demands. Finally, De facto Prime Minister Ariel Henry announced a 37% hike in the minimum wage this week. The revised amount would lie below 7.5 US dollars, falling way short of the workers' demands. As a result, workers' unions announced three days of mobilizations beginning on February 23rd. Workers' protests against exploitative conditions and wages have been met with heavy repression over the years. Diplomatic cables accessed by WikiLeaks also revealed systematic efforts by the US to keep minimum wage low in Haiti. The crisis worsened with health, economic and social impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. Haiti has also been witnessing a protracted social and political crisis since the assassination of de facto President Jovenel Moïse in 2021. The US-backed de facto government of Prime Minister Ariel Henry has been widely rejected as illegitimate. Meanwhile, there is also growing insecurity due to a surge in violence by opposing armed groups.